What's up, what's up, what's up? Chris Camel. Hey. Hi. Lucius. Hi. We're at Charlie's Creek. Hi. We've got the bag, something? the car, parked by the bridge. Are, are you gonna make Looking good? Are you gonna make a video? Yes, we're making us a video, hence no. the filming. All right, so anyway, we're gonna head down Charlie's Creek, see if we can find it today. It's been a really good run here recently, so hopefully we'll continue that with a couple of megs today. Peace. Hi, cows. Lots of cows on the river. They do not like us. Yeah, they're delicious. <laughs> they're adorable. Very unhappy about the situation. Oh, one of them's stuck. Oh. He's alright. Yeah, he's sure all right. Food. Everyone's alright. Everything's fine. Alright. Weird little section here. <laughs> Deep woods and then an oh. open area where they're doing work. Yeah. Strange. Alright. I've been hurt working uh, this creek for quite some time now. We're about a mile in the hike and uh, still have yet to find anything fantastic or any really areas that we want to work but you can see behind me what we're dealing with here I mean the creek is beautiful this part of the creek but it's also at its 20 plus year low so what that means it's a whole different environment you got to walk along these mud flats to areas that are a little bit deeper and keep looking for signs and symptoms that there's you know, potential fossils around. I'm looking for high banks. I'm looking for fossiliferous material coming out of those banks and getting concentrated in the bottom of the creek. Problem is, and I knew this, this part of uh, Charlie's Creek is an area where there's really not a lot of fossils. Um, even though there's high banks and everything else looks good. Uh, so it's just a matter of putting the time in and exploring this ground when it's low like this because you never know what you're going to find. And I found during exploration it, uh, it's where you find the best things, especially when it's super, super low. Obviously, it's a great time to explore. So that's what we're doing. We're walking a section that I've walked before and didn't find much, but doing it when the water's low changes everything. So I'll let you see my walk as we go here. It's a gorgeous day, nice and warm, light breeze, no cloud cover, so it's going to be good when we do find a good fossil area. I can get my mask out and get to work. So. I'll show you some of the hike. Water's nice and clear. My boy's supposed to be coming back. Luke, let's go. That's a good section to search, or look at at least. I like that steep bank. Sheer drop. Do I see any material though? And I don't. Sure, I could dig in that water, but because there's no water flow, it's not gonna push all the silt that I kick up away. So it makes it a little bit challenging. Water's nice and clear though. Come on, catch you up, Lucius. As I walk, I feel on my feet for any kind of crunchiness. Any kind of gravelly pit parts lets me know that there's something being kicked out of the bank, but there's really not much around here. So it's just a matter of time. You gotta hike through a distance, put in the time, and find some place that is a bit more productive, which is what we're doing. Still looking for Luke. Alrighty, we've been hiking for quite some time, probably two miles in, and we find a little bit of gravel back by that bend in a deep section so we went and checked that out and dove it it was just cold water and nothing but we hiked a little bit further along as you see along here and we got to here and we see some gravel so of course if you see gravel you got to check it out so as i'm walking i find a couple little pieces of tortoise shell and things like that decent small stuff nothing great you know little pieces like this little pieces like this but that's indication there might be something more around so i keep searching and I see this really nice piece of tortoise shell. That's uh, quite the nice little piece, cool little piece. Looks like land tortoise, very nice. But I'm not gonna keep that because I have mountains of that. But then I see that right there, which looks like a nice, no, it's not a horse tooth. What is it? I don't know. Keep it? I'll have to clean it up and take a look at it. Okay. I don't know what it is. I thought it was a horse tooth, but it's not. So, it almost looks like a piece of mammoth, but 
I don't know, I have to take a look after it's all cleaned up. So that was cool. So I'll keep the camera on as we search this area here just a little bit for anything interesting. Other than what I just picked up, which was certainly interesting. <clears throat> Say what? You're gonna make this an iMovie again? Yeah, I'll put it on uh, YouTube. I'm talking to YouTube. Hi. Send it off to Ninja Shark so she can say hi. Ninja and a little piece of. Yeah, she's another fossil hunter. Who, big piece of bone. Yeah. Big old piece of bone. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Nice vert. Nice vertebrae. Yes. Clean that up. I will keep the vertebrae. Very cool. Oh, horse tooth, right there. Very cool. Let's wash that off. Little chunk of one. Cool color, nice blue. It's been sitting dry for a while. Very nice. Piece of vertebrae, another vertebrae. Really? Yeah. All right, it's a little chunk. Little piece. That looks more dugong. Just found something very, very cool. Smaller, but awesome. Looks like a cheek tooth to some kind of mammal. See the ridge line there? It might be bear, it might be smilodont. I'll have to look that up in my book when I get home and then tell you what I find out to, it to be. But that's cool, it's no roots, but just the top part. But you can see the enamel ridge is there. I'll figure that out and let you know. Awesome. That's a good find. That's a great find. And a little snaggletooth shark here. Pretty cool. See it right there. Amipresis. Not bad. First shark tooth I've seen here. So, found something, I guess. Oh, where's my hand? There it is. Yeah, it doesn't really fit. Too close. Yeah, this is what it is. Piece that... of corner of mammoth enamel, Tooth. I believe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright. Close to? Oh. Oh, don't get too close. Oh. See the enamel ridges here? Kind of beater. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. One side's kind of complete. Yeah. So horse tooth. Equus. What? I'm feeling this. It looks like a jawbone. Really? Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, no teeth in it. Mm. But that is definitely a jawbone. Yeah, you can see the Lower mandible. Teeth. Very nice, very cool. Cool yeah. little spot we found here. Found something. Pretty big. Very large piece of tortoise shell. See how the sponginess here? Yeah. Hold. Very good piece. Very big. This is big. Half bear. This is Lucius checking a deep section. What? So this is you checking a deep section. He's got a stick to protect him. Look for anything that looks like mammoth. Okay. Look for any kind of bone, okay. teeth, etc. Why don't you come in here with me? Because yeah, I'm letting you do it. Because okay. yeah, there's something there, then you get to find it. Okay. It's dark and scary down here. It is dark. <laughs> Hiccups, my friend. Like the cold. Any bones? I Anything? have no idea. Any rocks? I'm going down. All right, check it. Nothing so far, but it's crazy. All right. Ah. <laughs> we are at a very cool section of the river that we've been trying to hike to. It's a pretty long hike. But we finally get to the limestone section, and if you look here, we already got you know, ribs and things like that, so it's a, it's a good start. We haven't seen much of anything, more ribs, we haven't seen much of anything until now. Only one spot that we could work, and now we're at a spot that should be a lot of fun. So we're probably going to start diving here a little bit after we find a spot to hit, and start looking in the cracks and crevices of the limestone. And see what we can find. Search here. You search here. All right, and go through these things here, Luke. Get your glasses, yeah. And look through, you know, move stuff. You know, this hole here, that's, uh, there's a big catch that comes down right here, okay? okay? This catch is all filled with fossils and stuff. Look around, see if we find anything cool. Where can I find? Nothing. 
That might be something. What is that? That's a piece of bone. And you throw it away. Use your eyes. And find something cool. What's that? More like this? No. This? This? <laughs> Lucius. Wait, wait, wait! Look at what your hand just touched, man. Are you not seeing this? No. <laughs> Rinse wow. it off. I am twice as blind as I thought I was. <laughs> your hand was on it the whole time. Where? <laughs> I'm sure. Nice. Oh, God. That is a beautiful Charlie Creek Megalodon tooth. Meg. All right, let's keep All it still right. for a moment. Put it in your hand like this. About two inches. Nice curve to it, so it's would be like this in the mouth. It's yeah. almost perfect. You got a little miss in the corner there, but that's it. But the blade's beautiful. It's a so. sword. Don't look at me. So, first mag. Well, we are back. We have finished our day. Yep. We got the nice mag there. Yeah. We got the he found. We got the uh, mandible, which is awesome. Yeah. But more importantly, we had a great day. Nice. Enjoyed ourselves on the river. It yeah, was beautiful. Yeah. So we'll go over the stuff we found in a little bit um, yep. on our, after our drive home. And we need food and we need warmth. Food. Have a great day. It's free.